Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it is a Super Bowl and I thought it would be a really good idea to share a classy set of Super Bowl nails. Any Super Bowl fans over here? I am going for neither. I am not a football fan. Don't get offended guys. I love the halftime show though. Anyway, my loves, I hope the best team wins. I hope you guys enjoy the Super Bowl and I hope you enjoyed this video that I had no idea in which direction I was going, but I ended up liking what came out and I hope you guys do too. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video and get glamorous. Mwah. I am going to start by forming the base to create a gradient on the middle nail and the thumbnail. I am going to divide this process into three parts as I am going to apply three different colors on these nails. To begin the first part of the process, I am going to apply a white shade on the tip and I am going to blend it towards the cuticle area to more or less half of the nail as you guys can see on screen. I am going to keep the set of nails in a neutral color range, so for the second part of the process, I am going to apply a nude and I am going to blend it to the opposite side of the white, blending the two shades very well in the middle of the nail. As you guys can see, I am leaving a little space because later on, I am going to apply glitter and I don't want the cuticle area to be too thick to avoid damaging the design when filing. While the acrylic dries on the two nails, I am going to work on the pinky and the index nails, applying a semi-thick layer to about 75% of the nail using the same nude color that I used in the gradient. Then with my wire and my doll blade, I am going to cut the sides to form a V-shaped fringe and as you guys can see, these two nails are transparent because later on, I will be giving these two nails a glass effect. Now I am going to finish the gradient, so for the third part of the process, I am going to apply iridescent glitter near the cuticle area and I am going to blend it towards the tip. To give the French nails more precision, I am going to file the edges with my hand file. A little advice that I give you guys is that when you are applying the acrylic and making the cuts, try to make them as clean as possible since with this type of transparent tips, you can literally see all the little details. To give a sparkly touch to the glass effect, I am going to cut long triangles out of cellophane and apply one on each side. Before applying them, I am going to clean the surface very well using monomer. After applying the triangles, I am going to pre-cap them with clear acrylic so that they don't move out of place. On the ring fingernail, I am going to make a football, but first I am going to create the base. The first thing that I am going to do is apply the same nude color to more or less half of the nail. When the product is semi-dry, I am going to use the smile cutter to create the shape of the ball. I am going to press down firmly and drag the rest of the product out, creating a smile line that will serve as the first part of the ball. Obviously my loves, you know that glitter is a must, so to give this football a feminine touch, I am going to add gold glitter around it. After this product is semi-dry, I am also going to repeat the same process to give it an oval shape. To create the silhouette of the ball, I am going to use this brown color and I am going to apply it after the cuts I just made. I'm going to try and shape it with the brush, but I'm still going to correct it with a smile cutter that cuts in the opposite direction as the one that I just used. After correcting the edges, I am going to apply a little bit of glitter on the side as well. I am going to make the cut and I am going to fill the rest of the nail in with the nude color. 
Before finishing with this nail, I am going to give this corner more definition using a metal carbide bit to create an indentation and round out the silhouette of the football a bit more. Then I am going to fill that space with the same gold glitter. As usual, I am going to cap these nails using crystal clear acrylic. After encapsulating, I am going to remove the excess acrylic and shape the nails using my hint file and my e-file machine. After removing the excess acrylic, I am going to clean these nails of oils and impurities using a piece of paper towel and 99% alcohol. I am going to give a shiny finish to all the nails except the ring fingernail, and I am going to cure this layer under a UV lamp for 60 seconds. On the ring fingernail, I am going to apply a layer of matte gel and I am going to cure it under an LED lamp for 30 seconds. After curing, I am going to remove the viscosity with a piece of paper towel and 99% alcohol. To highlight the glass effect, I am going to apply a layer of shiny gel on the underside of the nails and I am going to cure it upside down. To add the little details to the football, I am going to use white gel paint and my precision brush. I am going to start with the detail that goes in the middle and then I'll move on to the corners. Before curing, I am going to give these details a sugar effect using fine glitter and then I am going to put them under the lamp for 15 seconds. This is the same technique that I applied on the nails that I did for December with the snowflakes. So for those of you who haven't seen that video, I am going to leave the suggestion up here for you guys. After curing and removing the excess glitter with the same precision brush and a little bit of shiny gel, I am going to highlight the golden lines and then I am going to cure again for 15 seconds. To add a delicate touch, I am going to apply white pearls on the parts with the nude color. To finish off, I am going to apply cuticle oil to nourish the area. And my loves, this is the final product. I hope you liked this video and if you liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can be up to date with all my content. As always, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much. May God bless you. Mwah.